Hey there, this is Tyler from WTFX, and today we're going to be talking about a simple distort. Let's dive in. CC Slant. CC Slant is one of those versatile plugins that can be easily used for animation, motion graphics, as well as visual effects. Just as the name suggests, it will take an object and tilt it in a desired direction. This can be used to make shadows, simulate a wall falling over, or some other third thing. Here you can see a word on the screen. The first control we have is Slant. Slant, well, slants or tilts the object. You'll notice that the higher the number goes, it continues to slant towards the right side of the screen, but the top of the letters here don't seem to fall below their original position and stay along this imaginary line. Turn the numbers to the negative and you'll have the exact same thing, but just going in the other direction. The next control is stretching. This is the control that allows the top of the letters to stay along that line. If we uncheck the box and change the slant control, you can see that now it does in fact look like the object is falling backwards. Height changes the vertical height of the layer. Think of this number as a percentage. At 100%, this layer is at its standard default height. Move this number closer to zero and you can see that it seems to squash the layer. A negative number will then create the look of a mirrored image until it reaches negative 100. Floor is essentially the baseline or floor of the layer. Be aware that only the Y coordinate is used. The X coordinate is, I guess, for decoration. Changing this works the exact same way as changing the X and Y coordinates for other plugins. You can simply slide the control to change it, click the value number and enter in a specific number, or click on the bullseye here and click again where you'd like the floor to be. Now all of this is well and good, but you may be asking, Hey Tyler, what if I want to change the color of the layer that CC Slant is being applied to? Can CC Slant do anything to help with that? Well, I'm happy to say it can. You'll notice that we have a checkbox here, and below it is a grayed out section called Color. This is because in order to use this section Color, we must first check the Set Color box. Once checked, we can now change the color of the layer to any color we want. And the best part? It will preserve alpha channels associated with this layer, which is why here it's only changing the color of the letters themselves. So whether you like the idea of using this to easily make character shadows or the ability to change the color, I think there's one thing we all can agree on. With CC Slant, you'll definitely see your footage from a whole new angle. Thanks for watching. I am so sorry for what you just watched. See that big red subscribe button? Definitely don't click that and don't hit the bell icon either because doing either of those will let you know when we upload new content. And you see those two clips of the other videos that we made? You don't want to check those out either. Just steer clear of them. In fact, what you may even want to do is, is just shut down your computer. If you live near a canal or a river, maybe even take the computer and just throw it in one of them.